my Muna fam, and welcome to a very merry unboxing video. Yay! I love opening happy mail, but I just want to preface this and start off this video by saying not a single one of you ever needs to send me anything. I do not need anything from you guys except for your like support, which you're already giving me by watching this video right now. All I want is to get to know you and have fun and share the crafty happiness and silliness with the world and with you guys and make friends all over the internet. That's all that I ever want and need. I guess you could say like, <laughs> I need friends. Oh, that sounds like really sad, but you guys get what I'm saying. I never need you guys to mail me anything, but those that do, I am super grateful. I love, love, love gifts. They make me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. I love giving gifts and who the heck doesn't love getting gifts? <laughs> of course, I love receiving things, especially when it's just like a surprise and I did not see it coming, but you never need to mail me anything. So I'm not making these videos to be like, oh, oh my God, send me things. Never, never, never. I love to make these videos because it's fun to share in the like happiness, happy mail happiness with you guys. I think it's fun. I like watching happy mail videos. And for the people that did mail me stuff, it's fun for them to be able to see my reaction to what they sent me. So yeah, all that being said, Merry Christmas, you guys. It's not about gifts. It's not about physical things. I hope you guys have your health this Christmas. I hope you get to spend it with your loved ones. And uh, most of all, I hope that you are happy and at peace this holiday season. No matter what this year has like thrown at you, trust me, this year has thrown some some hardships my way as well, but I hope that you can slow down and just take in the holiday joy around you this holiday season. So anyways, uh, Merry Christmas. I have no idea when this video is going up. So uh, whatever, Merry Christmas, whatever day it is, happy holidays, happy new year. Okay. All of that being said, um, some crazy people <laughs> in the best way have sent me some things to my P.O. box. I have four packages to open today. So if you sent me a package, thank you so much. You're so kind. Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> I feel so like thought of and I feel so sweaty. I just, I'm so thankful and grateful that you guys are so freaking kind to me. Anyways, and oh, before we get too far into it, I do want to do a giveaway soon as well. As soon as we reach 500 subscribers, we're getting very close, might I add. Once we reach 500 subscribers, I want to do a nice little giveaway. I'm going to give away uh, probably a Lion Brand Santa Sack. I did order more of those. <laughs> and I'll probably give away some of my own products like trays and things because I know a lot of you guys are trying to get those. So, ooh, stay tuned and subscribe so we can get to 500 and do a big giveaway. Anyways, cool. All right, let's start uh, opening. Okay, so first up, we got a package from Puffles. Say that 10 times fast. A package from Puffles. A package from Puffles. A package from Puffles. A package from Puffles. This is from Puffles, also known as Insane on YouTube, also known as uh, Kyrie, also known as uh, Kyra. Uh, Puffles has a lot of names, but uh, love you, Puffles. Thank you so much for sending me a package. I have literally no clue what's inside here and thank you. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, what's inside? Oh, that is a really cute box. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got a box in a box. Love it. She did not. She crocheted me something. <laughs> oh, you guys know I appreciate it. Oh, what a cute little Octi. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I 
such pretty colors as well. Oh my goodness. I love him so much, Puffles. Thank you. Look at the tiny little Christmas Gwenny squirrel. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so heartwarming when people um give me something crocheted. You may think like as a crocheter, because I crochet all the time, I may have a lot of crochet stuff, but I really don't. I never keep things I won't say never I keep things sometimes but I very rarely keep things that I crochet for myself so I actually don't own a whole lot of crocheted stuff I always sell it and give it as presents and you know I love him thank you I love him and I love the little mini granny square too you know what I'm gonna do with this I'm probably gonna use it and put it in one of my miniatures that I like to make and use it as like a little, little miniature blanket. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, Puffles. Merry Christmas. He's gonna sit right here on my desk and keep me company. Thank you. Okay, let's see what's next. I'm gonna open this little package from Coffee. Coffee is one of my moderators here on the channel, and she is one of my very best friends. I have gotten to know her over the past couple years and like honestly our late night gaming sessions and discord and just like getting to know her over these few years has just been so much fun and coffee if you're watching this I love you so much. I you're like one of my most favorite people on the whole planet. I'm tearing up just thinking about how much I love you. Uh, I just think you're really cool and awesome. And I'm grateful that I have gotten to know you and that I've met you. Anyways, let's uh, let's stop being sappy and let's see what's inside. I actually think I know what this is. Um, she said it's not technically a Christmas present. Um, she asked me about it a while ago and was like crafting things. Anyways, you'll see. Okay, it's very lightweight. Oh, I should zoom in. Yes, I know what these are. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So she made, look how cool these are. I think these are so cool. Like these, these are cool. So she made some guitar pick earrings. Look at that. And they're green, so they're kind of like Christmassy. And I'm not wearing headphones today. You know what? I'm going to wear these right now because I very rarely get to wear earrings while on a uh, camera because when I'm streaming and stuff, uh, I wear headphones. Oh my gosh, they're so festive. They're green. They match what I'm wearing. Coffee, thank you so much. I love them. You're so sweet. Ah, they're perfect. They almost look like um, little light bulbs for Christmas, right? I look so cute. Thank you, coffee. And thanks for the organza bag. I will cherish this. This is my most favorite gift I've ever had. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I like this. This is so much fun. Now I'm, I got jingles on my head. Can you hear that? If you can't, then I'm just going to look like a complete idiot right now. But guess who's back at it again? It's Robin. Robin, excuse me. I don't know why you're sending me another gift so soon. In the last unboxing video, I had a big old box from Robin and she gave me so much candy. Like we have been eating that, I think, every day. <laughs> me, my husband, my mom, my grandma, uh, my brother can't eat candy because he's like very lactose intolerant. But anyways, <laughs> we've all been chipping away at it and there's still some in my kitchen. Robin, what the heck? This is another heavy package. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what she sent me this time, but like Robin, what are you doing spoiling me like this? Thank you though. Merry Christmas. Robin, are you serious? I don't understand. What is this? What is this like a whole Christmas in a box? M and fam. I also, let me just say how much I appreciate that you like think of my family as well. Uh, it means a lot to them and I think it's, it's, it's really special to them to see that a customer from Munime that they've like worked on orders for, uh, recognizes them and stuff like they, 
they're very grateful for that and I I appreciate it so much like that's so sweet this box is so much fun there's like a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on but card first look how cute this little sticker is it's so cute sticker Robin <laughs> Don't you know that I need to lose some weight? Like, <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Always sending me candy. Like, what? Ugh, Rob <gasps> Robin. I see a unicorn. <gasps> Robin, I believe in you. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you. I believe in you too. M, Merry Christmas. Hope this makes your holidays a little brighter and sweeter. That's for sure. Enjoy. Robin. <laughs> your felon Texan. Yeah, I'm really sorry for calling you a felon in the last unboxing. She won't let that go, man. She won't let that go. <laughs> uh, no, you won't live it down. Love you, Robin. Thank you so much. I love this card. I love it. It's so me. Okay, there's a lot to unpack in here. Let's see what is inside. First of all, I see a lot of candy canes. I am absolutely impressed that these made the journey without breaking because I don't know why, but candy canes just always disintegrate. Thank you. Love it. Love it. What else is in here? We got, oh my God, I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, Sour Patch Kids coal. Can my brother eat this? I he he needs coal. Hold on. I got to check. Uh Hey, I think my brother can eat this cuz he don't eat milk and wheat and eggs and garlic and literally anything, but I think he can eat this because it's pretty much just made out of bioengineered food ingredient and sugar. The the coal is going to my brother cuz uh you know, it's my brother. Some some lumps of coal. Thank you. That's so cute. I've never seen that before. We got some more coal. Okay, some for my husband because he's been a very bad boy. Okay, that came out really naughty. <laughs> Love you, honey. I want to know what this oblong object is. ASMR, anyone? because they need to brush their teeth yeah their uh their breath stank how'd you know oh okay i'll have to get them in here and give them one yes yes it's a dog tweet that robin sent you guys yes can you move so chica can get some time to shine ah, ah. come here little one okay bye mm -hmm. chica are you able to eat this can you chew on it Oh my! Twirl! Whoa, 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 whoa! You wait your turn. Up. Twirl. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Can you chew on that? Bye. Shake. Up. Twirl. Down. Roll over. Ah! Hey, that's not nice. Whatever. Thanks, Robin! What else we got? We got, ooh, M&M snowballs. <gasps> White chocolate candies. Oh, those look good. They got pretzel in the middle. These are my favorite. I love pretzel M&Ms. Okay, we got this little box that says Merry Christmas, closed with washi tape. I'm just going to cut the washi tape. Merry Christmas. So nice! Look what she did! She made a cover minder slash needle minder with my logo on it! Robin, that's so thoughtful. Oh my god. Stop. Y'all gotta stop. And a Starbucks gift card. I love Starbucks. Thank you. <laughs> $25 it says. Thank you so much. What is this? Oh, we got another candy cane, another straggler. Okay. There might be some more in there too. Okay. This is like um like a takeout box, but I don't Is there like Chinese takeout in here? I would be very happy with that. Oh, she made an, an ornament. Oh, 
that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And I think it's made with diamond painting drills, which is like so meaningful as well because diamond painting and the diamond painting community has just like given me so much this year. It has given me a job. It has given me friends. It has just been so awesome. So this is like not only really pretty, uh, you can, I'll do a close up. You can, it's got like crystal diamond painting drills and red ones and it is just so beautiful and I really, really love it. And wouldn't you know, my Christmas tree, not this one. I mean, I have like my unicorn Christmas tree behind me that has rainbow colors, but my main Christmas tree in my house is a red and gold theme. So the red fits right in. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to put this up in my main Christmas tree because the diamond painting community, I don't mean to burp during a, um, meaningful moment here, but um, the diamond painting community has not only given me so much this year, um, it has also meant a lot to my whole family. So yeah, I don't know. I love it. That's so meaningful. And we got a boatload of candy. Robin, 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 Robin. My hair is messed up. That's cool. That's fine. We're just going to leave it. It's like, you know, cats have little fuzzies on the end of their ear tips. There you go. Robin, thank you. Uh, you're making me fat. I say this in the nicest way possible, but girl, I'm going to need to go on a diet. That's a problem for the new year though. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so much for sending all of the goodies and not only thinking of me, but my family too. That means so much to me and my dogs are part of my family. So thank you so much for thinking of them as well. You're so kind and stop spoiling me, okay? Last but certainly not least, I have just in time for Christmas, a little bit of a Christmas miracle. This one has a little bit of a story behind it. So Cal Pals, which I've talked about a few times here on the channel, is a Discord server where we have crochet alongs every month. You can learn all about it in other videos that I've got, but every year for the past two years, <laughs> every year, man, it is a tradition though that we do Secret Santa. So people sign up and we pair them with a person to send gifts to and uh, it's a lot of fun and we send yarny and crochet goodies to each other. I signed up and I have a P.O. box. My P.O. box address should be in the description of most if not all of my videos and when I signed up on this form, I don't know what happened, but I wrote my P.O. Box address, but I got like a little confused, I guess, and I put down the zip code of my home of where I live, which is not in the same city as my P.O. Box. I didn't realize this until a couple days ago when I was like, oh my gosh, where's my secret Santa gift? Uh, hello. And, uh, realized that I put in the wrong address. Oh, I felt so bad because I hate wasting someone's time and money, especially if the package got bounced back and returned to them. That is the worst. I feel so bad. I take gifts so seriously and I put so much, like way too much thought and emotion into them. And um, I just, I was mortified that I made such a stupid mistake and I didn't want to waste someone's time and money. Ugh. I kept checking my P.O. box just hoping that it would show up anyways and even though I put the wrong zip code and it was not there every time I went so I was really sad I was worried that it ended up in someone else's box as a last resort I had to go anyways to the post office today to drop off some packages that I was mailing out and I was like you know what I'm gonna check my box one last time and I'm gonna hope that my Secret Santa gift has made it. It was supposed to be delivered way back on the 13th. Today is the 23rd. So that's like over a week of, where is it? <laughs> I checked one last time and we had a little bit of a Christmas miracle. Lo and behold, in my PO box, my Secret Santa gift arrived. And they were like, um, ma'am, this address is incorrect. They put it, they wanted me to know so bad. They put stickers on there twice. I get it. I get it. I put the wrong address. Yes, I know. Thank you, USPS. I actually know who my Secret Santa is um, because I'm an admin for CalPels and I like assigned them. So I know who my person is, but I'm gonna pretend to be surprised. Anyways, my secret Santa and CalPels sent me this. 
we had a form where we put our interests and you best believe I was like, I like unicorns. I love dogs. I like Star Wars. I like Marvel. I put all of my interests, which are very wide in there. So I don't know what this person has chosen to send me, but I'm excited. I see yarn. Oh my goodness. And embroidery floss. Yes, and it's so colorful. These are so fun. I'm gonna have to find a pattern to go with that. And look, this is just like a total side note, but this is my current project, okay? Happy holidays. I got this as a white elephant gift. Uh, <laughs> and I stamped my dog's paws on it. You can tell which is my well-behaved dog and which one is um, not well-behaved. I just think it represents their personality on here. So I got some beautiful rainbow looking cross-stitch embroidery floss. We got this beautiful, big, lovely skein of yarn in all these magical colors. I think I also put in there that I love rainbows. I don't know. I don't know what I put in the form, but like there's so much stuff in here. What in the world? Um, so this is so beautiful. Look at all of the fancy colors. It's like neon. It is neon. This is in the color Bright Stripe in the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Stripes. Beautiful. I love it. And thank you so much for sending me fabric as well. I also love to sew. Like, that's just so thoughtful. He, like, included a lot of my different crafts in here. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> I love Christmas. <laughs> My favorite color is purple. I love purple. And uh, I, I've kind of gotten into making tote bags lately. And I like to line the inside and make pockets and things out of the solid colors. So this is very useful and something that I not only love because it's a beautiful color, but I really need it. So thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. The card. I forgot. To, I should have read the card first. Okay. Merry Christmas. It looks like you literally made this card. That's so nice. Um, I hope you have a great Christmas and have fun being creative with this gift. Love, Lilia, a.k.a. Ted Ted. Ted Ted, thank you so much. I'm so sorry for the trouble with the package and putting the wrong zip code. I'm so sorry, but you'll be happy to know that it arrived and it made it. And thank you so much. This is a beautiful card. I'm going to keep it forever. You even made this for me. <laughs> literally gonna make me cry stop it ted ted and last but not least we got a really fun crochet pattern book in here adorable fruits and vegetables to crochet delicious de decorations for your table i love it let's take a peek in here and see what kind of things are in store you know what this would be so good for um okay so i have a friend i know shocking right my friends have a one and a half year old ish daughter and she told me that for Christmas this year she is getting a kitchen play set. How fun would it be if I crocheted some fruits and veggies for her little play set? Like y'all let me tell you this little kid this little one-year-old kid has stolen my heart. I don't have little kids in my immediate family none that I ever see and so these people they're like my best friends some of my best friends and every time I go over to their house I just run off and go play with the kid okay because I just think that's so much fun and I can't wait to have kids of my own this is perfect this is perfect timing as well so look at all of these beautifully designed veggies on the table right here it's actually making me hungry my stomach just growled apple pear clementines banana i like the bananas a lot lemon raspberry and blackberry strawberry those are really cute strawberries look at these kiwis those are so beautiful i love the pictures and the design in this book as well peach apricot and plum tomato tomato eggplant <laughs> peas P -p 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 peas please avocado halves carrot a leek love that look at this cauliflower i love the cauliflower it's so much fun a radish a button mushroom oh my goodness thank you i'm hungry <laughs> what an incredibly 
thoughtful secret Santa gift. Like this is so, so meaningful to me. And thank you so much for, you know, not only sending me yarny goodies and crochet goodies, but thinking of my other crafts too, because there are many and it gets very expensive to get supplies for all of them. Thank you, Ted Ted, and thank you, Secret Santa. Oh my Santa, it's Ted Ted. That's my Secret Santa. So this is actually the last gift and I've already opened it because I wasn't sure what it was because it I literally just finished recording this and Amazon showed up on my doorstep and I was like, Oh, I mean, I, literally I get stuff from Amazon every single day. I didn't know if it was something I ordered or what. Anyways, Amazon's always at my house. And you guys, remember how I told you that the Secret Santa gift from Cow Pals was really difficult and it was not looking like I was going to actually get it? The Cow Pals admins, the other admins uh, got together and put together like a last minute gift from Amazon to make sure that I wasn't left out and forgotten because of a silly mistake that I made, which would have been totally fair. Like it was my fault. I put the wrong zip code. Like it was a hundred percent my fault. And so I should have lived with the consequences if I didn't get a gift, you know, you know what I'm saying? And they were like so sweet and got together and made sure that I wasn't left out and forgotten. And you guys, they sent me the sweetest gift. So I got a notebook, which is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And this is really weird. So Robin sent me a card that says believe in yourself on it. Okay, well, it says I believe in you. Well, Robin sent me a card saying she believes in me, right? And it's really, really cute. Well, I open up this notebook and right on the front page, it says believe in yourself. What is going on? What is going on? It's almost like the universe is and God is trying to talk to me. I think I need to believe in myself. So yeah, that was incredibly sweet. And I don't remember if I've ever mentioned this to you. I know the person who like sent these gifts was Yarnaholic. Love you, Yarnaholic. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for putting this together. And that's really kind of you. And I feel bad because I ended up getting my secret Santa gift, but it's just really sweet that you wanted to make sure that I didn't go without, you know? She sent me this beautiful four pack of like pretty colored gel pens to use in my notebook. I absolutely love it. You know what I got to use this for? I got to like write some new crochet patterns in the new year. It's definitely a goal of mine. And they sent me, everybody knows I love freaking crochet pattern books. Like that's just like a thing. I like to collect them. I love them. Everybody knows. They sent me Zoom and Groomy 7, which has some really cute patterns. Like look at this, the duckies. I'll show off a couple of them. Look at the piglet, Freddy the piglet is so cute. <laughs> so these books are basically like compilations from multiple different designers and they're compiled by amigroomypatterns.net. And so a lot of them have different styles and there's, I don't know, a bajillion of these. It's a bunch of different pa patterns compiled. Look at Lonzo the Llama. So cute. Look at this sweet moosey. Monty the moosey and his sweet little sad eyes. Bob. Bob the bear and Buddy the bee. Oh, have you ever seen a cuter pair? My dog is barking like crazy in the other room. Hello, Roxy. And I love this Meyer the Mallard duck and his babies. The one on the cover is so cute. I love duckies. What is going on? My dogs are eating each other in the other room. Oh, look at the lion. Leo the lion. <laughs> These patterns are so cute. I absolutely love them. Thank you so much. You really didn't have to do this. It would have served me right to um, have my gift lost in the mail for uh, not double checking my address, but it means so much to me that you guys are so kind and made sure that I wasn't, you know, left out of the secret Santa thing. So like, ugh. I love you guys and I am so grateful for the friendships we built and leading Cal Pals together. I love Cal Pals. It's like our baby and I truly, truly am so grateful that you guys joined on and helped help me get this amazing community off the ground. Thank you. I do not deserve this, but thank you so much. Ah, I'm so touched. Merry freaking Christmas, you guys. Merry freaking Christmas. Thank you. Love you guys. 
I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Puffles, Robin, Coffee, and Ted Ted. Thank you all so much for sending me something. You definitely did not need or have to do that, but I love it so much and I am incredibly, incredibly, uh, what's, I'm trying to find a word. I'm incredibly touched. I don't know if that was the right word, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. I just feel really emotional about the fact that um, my career online, whether it has been streaming on Twitch or making YouTube videos or running my Muna Maid shop, I'm just so grateful that it has led me to so many great friends, so many thoughtful friends. I am so grateful that Cow Pals is a thing. I'm grateful that I decided to start this YouTube channel this year. I'm grateful for my business. I'm grateful for every single customer who has bought from me this year. I'm just really full of gratitude and gratefulness. And although this year has been hard and I've had loss and I've had hardship and I've had normal life things hit me in the face, I have had a really good year through it all because I have joy and happiness in the fact that I am just surrounded by so many incredibly cool, awesome, and thoughtful people online um and in in real life too i have the most amazing friends and stuff through my church and i'm just i'm full of gratitude and i want you guys to remember that christmas is not about shopping it's not about things it's not about food although the food at christmas is really good and that's what i look forward to the most <laughs> it's not about any of that christmas is about that baby in a manger that was born and how he taught us to love. Jesus taught us to love one another and showed us an example of what that looks like to love with our whole heart without limits. So I want to remind you guys of that, that Christmas is about love. It's about loving your friends, loving your family. If it's at all possible, if you have any opportunity to do so, I hope that you get to slow down, take a break from work, take a break from life, take a break from all of the craziness and just be at peace and remember to have gratitude for those that are around you and let's be honest have gratitude for things like crafting and yarn like I'm super grateful for that as I know that I'm really really grateful for each and every one of you that I've ever had the opportunity to get to know and talk to all over the world I'm so grateful I'm just full of that in my heart and I'm trying to hold on to that rather than the sadness of uh, losing a loved one and all of the hardship that the world is facing. I'm trying to keep my head above water and just focus on love and the different ways that that's demonstrated all around me every day. Anyways, usually I'm very dorky and silly and just, yeah, all of that, all of the above. Um, but I just feel like there was stuff on my heart that needed to be said. So I said it. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a very happy new year. I have a lot of plans for the channel I'm very excited for. Make sure if you're not already to subscribe. I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to get this hair out of my lip gloss. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers here on the channel. And once we do that, I have a pretty cool giveaway planned for you guys to give back to you in the new year. Happy crafting! I hope you guys get some crafting done over the next couple weeks. Hopefully have some time off and can do so. I'm going to be crafting a storm because I am taking some time off from restocking my shop. So I'm going to be crafting like crazy. Love you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Merry Christmas! Oh, and thank you to my Kofi. I'm always struggling how to pronounce that. Thank you to my Kofi super supporters. This channel and these videos would not be possible without you guys. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Like. Also leave a comment. I always look, I'm like refreshing and I'm like waiting for people to comment and talk to me. It's really sad. So leave a comment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click end now. Goodbye. I'm clicking it. Okay, I'm clicking it now.